New details tonight from state investigators shedding light on the moments that led up to the shooting of Justine Damon. According to the Minnesota BCA, two Minneapolis police officers identified as Matthew Herity and Muhammad Noor were headed south down the alley. The lights on their squad car turned off, the dash cam not on. As the pair approached West 51st Street, Officer Herity, who was driving, reports hearing a loud sound. Moments later, Justine Damon approaching the driver's side window. That's when Herity says his partner, Muhammad Noor, opened fire from the passenger seat, shooting through the window, hitting and killing Damon. The Knights, all starting minutes earlier with a 911 call just before 1130. Family members telling Fox 9 it was Justine. Where the call was made, we don't know for sure. But the Damon family home is located right here. About eight houses or half a city block from the spot where the shooting later happened. Neighbors witnessing the aftermath. From our window, we could see where the crime scene happened. Um, and we could, uh, you know, definitely see that there was uh, some, you know, a body laying there. And as for the original 911 call, so far three versions exist. Minneapolis police describing the call as a, quote, unknown trouble call. The BCA calling it a, quote, possible assault and the Damon family describing it as a, quote, active sexual assault. As for whatever it was that happened before the call was made, that too is a mystery. Fox 9 reaching out to Minneapolis police to see if that incident was under investigation. Their answer, quote, everything that is related to the officer-involved shooting is being looked at by the Minnesota BCA.